you don't know what to do with her? Listen to this. 10 things to overcome when dating a Dominican woman. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you like Dominican culture, learning how to cook some Dominican food, learning a little Spanish and a little fashion, you are in the right place. So welcome. And if you would like to support my channel, go ahead and join my Patreon page. And on today's video, we are discussing 10 things to overcome when dating a Dominican woman. As you know, when dating people from different cultures, there is always challenges that you will face because different cultures do things different. People talk different, people respond different, people act different, and people think different. Not to mention, people's values are different. In this video, I want to share with you, from my experience, 10 things that you will need to overcome when dating a Dominican woman. Number one, her taste in food. Let's start with breakfast. For a Dominican, they've never been out of the island. Things like grits, cereal, pancakes, is no breakfast for her. Cereal, we have it for a snack. We don't eat grits. And pancakes, unless you have a family, they live in the United States, they will know what pancakes is. For example, me, I didn't know what pancakes was, so I never had no pancakes until I came to the United States. For Dominican, we consider breakfast things like sandwich, ham and cheese sandwich, cheese sandwich, natural dishes, hot chocolate, something that we call arena, sometimes plantain, bold plantain or fried plantain and yuca. So guys, what I'm trying to say is, I hope would not be our first choice for breakfast. Next thing, lunch. Here in America, people consider lunch fast food like burgers, pizza, hot dog, chicken and salad. For Dominican, Lunch consists in rice, bean, meat, and salad. You want to say that is every day. If it would miss rice and beans one day, we are doubling up next day. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We are not doubling up. But we will have it next day. So guys, don't ever give a Dominican a salad, just a salad for lunch. They will be looking at you and asking, what is the rest of the food? So we just don't eat just salad for lunch. The next one is dinner. A typical American dinner would be meat with a salad and maybe a salad. A Dominican dinner is platano or yuca with a side of cheese, salami, or egg. Also, most Dominican don't eat spicy food. We don't cook with pepper or we don't use hot sauce. Versus here in the United States, Everybody cook with pepper and they use hot sauce in everything. Like when I got here, I have no tolerance for spicy food. Now my eating habit has changed. I have an American eating habit now. I eat salad for dinner or lunch. I eat spicy food. You can catch me putting a hot sauce on my, in my food. Yeah, I cook with pepper. And, and I don't eat as much platano and yuca like I used to when I was in the Dominican Republic. And like I said before, this is a typical ear routine for a Dominican. And like all of you can have some section and people, the rich people over there, people that have money eat different. So this is just for a regular, typical Dominican. Number two, her taste for music. Dominicans love merengue, bachata, reggaeton, dembo, salsa, balada. Versus American music is hip hop and R&B. Our music is based on love, women, relationship. It's like more romantic, sentimental music. Versus hip hop is based on a street life where it's more aggressive. They talk about a lot about guns, violence, fighting, and mentioning a lot the women part. And we cannot relate to that. We like to be more uh, sentimental. So guys, when you take it to the club to listen to some hip hop, don't expect for her to be bouncing and throwing up some gang sign because she prefers to be in the club dancing some bachata. And that lead me to number three, her passion for dancing. Dominican love to go to the club to dance all night. 
they will love to dance of bachata, merengue, and salsa. Versus here, when I notice when I go to an American club, most of the time you will see people just standing up by the wall, socializing. And when they hear something they like, they will be just be shaking their head or moving their arms. Most of the time, it's the women dancing and the guys just there standing. Like I mentioned in my previous video before, when you take a Dominican woman out to dance, they expect for you to dance with them. If you are not the dancing child or you don't know how to dance, you better learn because if you go out to dance, that can create a kind of little problem. With a Dominican woman, they always want to dance when they all go out. Number four, her favorite sport is not your favorite sport. In Dominican Republic, the biggest sport is baseball. In America, the biggest sport is football. So the second favorite sport in Dominican Republic and in America is basketball. So we understand basketball. So you can both enjoy together watching basketball. Now, when she's watching baseball, if you don't like baseball, you will be bored as hell. And when you watching football, she's going to be confused as hell. I've been here for 12 years and I cannot understand football. The only thing that I see is a bunch of guys just running around and I don't know where they're going. The one thing that I know for sure, you could not take away football from an American man. So, we will be sitting down watching some boring football with you guys. Number five, she cannot relate to your past experience. Let's use racism. For example, when I used to live in the Dominican Republic, I used to watch the news and hear about racism and discrimination, but that was something that I understood what they were saying, but I couldn't relate. Then when I got here, yeah, I um, started understanding a little bit better about the culture, uh, now I can relate. And I can say that I have some uh, experience as well, because when I got to Alabama, they used to, it's like you have to fit in in a group. Like when I got there, people when they used to see me, they immediately told that I was black. And then when they hear me, that was the first impression, I was black. It probably I was continue being black even when they hear me talking, they was kind of confused because my accent, they knew immediately that I have to be something else. Then I was mixed with something else. And another example is violence and drugs. Like here in America, most people they come from a poor neighborhood, they are around a, a lot of gun violence and selling and using drugs versus Dominican Republic is a lot of poor neighborhoods and a lot of people come from poor neighborhoods but we are not surround these um, drugs or gun violence the most that you can see is robbery if that is something that I cannot relate like when I hear places like uh, Chicago, all these violent people killing each other. And another example is when I used to be a recruiter, and that you uh, need to ask um, about past record of people, you used to see in the application that the common factor was being in jail for selling or using drugs. And that is not something that I can fully, fully relate because in Dominican Republic it's a lot of poor people and here people have more opportunity than Dominicans yeah I cannot understand why people uh, have to be to do these uh, type of things she doesn't have the same hobbies as you for an American they have hobbies like hunting, hiking, swimming, fishing and Dominican they do not have real hobbies in the spare time they do things like playing cards playing dominoes, being in the coma talking, or just in a, in, a, in a friend house just drinking beer and talking. So guys, don't be surprised if you ask a Dominican woman what is your hobby if you don't have any. Like for example, me, before I came over here, my hobby was just watch TV. And now, look at what my hobby is. Do you see how America changed me? By the way, if you haven't watched that video, click right here. Number seven. She doesn't talk like you. Like I said in one of my previous videos, American people talk with a lot of profanities. They use it at work, on the street, and in music. When Dominican people talk. Not even when Dominican people are mad or mainly guys and say the type of words to us, we don't like it. And here, people talk like like that is normal. In one of the favorite words for guys to use here is the word bitch. And I hate that word. That is something that I cannot relate. 
Yeah, I'm not trying to relate to that. So guys, if you are the type that like to use a lot of profanity when you talk, I'm not saying all guys those, but if you are the type, that can be offensive around Dominican women. Number eight, she doesn't have the same passion for TV like you do. Dominicans, they can sit in front of the TV for hours and watch soap opera, what would you call telenovelas. For Americans, on my experience, they don't sit in front of TV for hours. They can have one or two TV shows that they like, and that's it. For my experience, that was me. When I used to be in Dominican Republic, I used to sit in front of the TV for three hours watching telenovela back to back. Here, ain't nobody had time for that. I don't have time to sit in front of the TV for three hours. And by the way, if you are trying to learn Spanish, that is a good way for you to learn watching telenovelas because the way they talk, they talk very slow. Number nine, she doesn't have the same habits as you. For example, eating time. Dominican has set time when they eat. For example, breakfast is from 7.30 till 9. Lunch from 12 to 2. And dinner from 6.30 to 9. And people eat at this specific time. They have to be, have lunch at 12. Versus American, they just eat whenever they're hungry or when they have time. Like for example, if you ask a Dominican person to have lunch at 11, they will tell you there is no time for lunch yet. They will wait until 12, even if they're hungry. I don't I'm, ask me why, because I don't do what Dominicans do anymore. Another example is punctuality. Dominicans do not know how to be punctual. If you're trying to be in a place at 9, you better tell a Dominican they start at 7 that you can be on time. If you are the type of person that likes to be punctual, you better be patient because I don't think it's a remedy for this disease. Number 10, she's more social than you. A Dominican woman can meet someone and develop an association with that person like if they've been knowing each other for years. Like for example, the second time that my mom came here to the United States, she met someone at the tree store and that person took her to my house and then next day she was picking her up and just driving around Miami just visiting different tree store. And that person wasn't even Dominican. So guys, it was like she'd been knowing this lady for years when she just met her the day before. So don't be surprised if you get meet some people if she want to invite them to the house from time to time. So guys, that is something that is normal in Dominican Republic, but I realize that is something that is not over here. So if you are the type of person that are not very social, if you don't want any, I mean, any type of people coming to your house, I recommend for you to have a conversation with her that she can understand. So guys, these are the 10 things that from my experience, you need to overcome when dating a Dominican woman. Probably there are more than that, but those are the ones that stood out to me. So if you have any comment or any question, you can leave a comment down below or just send me an email. That's so what I have for today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.